Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, welcome back to today's presentation on cyber security. I welcome you once again on this day for another presentation on uh, the journey that we have started so far. I thank each and every one of us for following. So many of you have started because you have seen uh, your efforts that you are putting already in fight against cyber crimes. We are, we are here today and again to present today topic to you. Remember, it's a way against fraudsters. This is how we have structured it. We all are fighting against one particular set of people that say that we will not even drink water and drop the cup. That we try to make out what we have. So, today, we are kicking off another part of it. Remember, we always remember this. Remember that cyber security is your responsibilities. So don't hold it yourself. Remember, it's a war that all of us are fighting for. And we have to stop it. And this is the reason why we have scheduled this presentation on how you can mitigate all those things. Welcome to today's class. First thing that we are going to treat today is basic cyber security. In this basic cyber security, the objective of this is to make sure that your internet places are secured. This is a typical objective of this presentation today, to make sure that your internet, wherever you are entering internet, where it is, where all of us, whether it's those that are here, those that will watch the movie or the video recorded, your relative that you will share with, those that you can tell or those that you can teach on what you have learned so far. This is the basic, this is the basic objective of this. To make sure that wherever you are, you are safe. The internet places that we have a uh, laptop are uh, the devices that are laptop that you are using maybe is desktop, is laptop. That all of them you are classifying is as that is computers. I remember all these things are still computers, Android devices, iOS devices. We still have your email accounts, social media accounts. Online banking accounts. How will you secure your online bankings? How do you secure your social medias? How you secure your email accounts? All these are what we are going to treat. How can you mitigate it? How can you try to step in and block some certain things out of it and make sure that it is safe so that? Any how person or maybe fosters or those kind of things cannot attack to it. Next slide. Okay, so if you actually want to stay safe online, after this presentation, there are so many things that you need to do. You need to make a, take an inventory of your digital life, ranging from the one that you know to the one that you don't even know. Starting from Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and so many rest of them. Check your laptop. You need to check all your phones. Check it. Which website have you actually visited? Where have you actually stepped in that you are not supposed to step? What have you done on the internet? What have you done with your phones? Your laptops? whatever that you have done your 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 internet accounts your banking system which phone is your banking account or maybe you have used your bank detail suite have you used it on an android phones ios is it uh, apple phones where have you used it 
you need to take inventory of all this they are all your digital life they are all concerns about internet they are all combined together to form an internet and all these things so you need to take inventory of it and see if you are actually going in a right directions if you are actually moving in the right way you are taking a very nice step by inventory check check all these things together if you actually want to stay safe on, on online if you really want to stay safe online after this particular presentation you must take this inventory that we are talking about next slide starting from the first day you went online till now and ask yourself the following question there are many questions that you need to ask yourself after you have check all this or before you even do it you can ask yourself so many questions there are many questions that you need to ask yourself let us see the questions number one is how many online accounts do i really have like some of us that we have like three facebook accounts like some of us that we have a multiple email account like some of us that we have multiple twitter tw twitter accounts instagram account tiktok accounts all these things account to how a foster can get you or how a hacker can get you just check how many of them you have that is the first thing you need to do you need to ask yourself this question this next slide the second one is how many of them are important to me after having the whole number or numerous online accounts in all this account that you have facebook accounts yeah, twitter accounts uh, what are they calling it mention it there are many that you have how many of them are important to you as a person i'm asking myself how many of them is important to me that is the question that you need to ask yourself the third one is how would i feel if one of them is hacked how will you feel if any of them is hacked out of the two facebook account that you have a hacker hack one how will you feel about it which one is the hacker hacked because there is where you ask yourself how many of them are important to you as a human being as a user next slide yes iot that is iot simply means internet of things they are numerous as you can see it as from this place you can see so many things they are using internet for they are moving around laptop phones even your some of them your own businesses your these even your car all this this they are iot internet of things they are where you can use internet even the the aces that you use some of them is internet there are many they are numerous the printers all this in your wi-fi all those ones even the little all these things are just internet of things so how many how do you use and and if it is the ios market is due to reach three, one billion connected devices in the year 2020 so in the year 2020 this is the number of the iot market is due to reach these billions connected device in the year 2020 so you see the it is it is actually whether it's your phone your laptop your your earpiece all those kind of things wherever however you connect it to internet they are all iot's and it is still reaching 31 billion connected devices in the year 2020 so by 2025 it is being presumed that it will reach 75 billion iot devices connected on the internet so you see how this thing is growing massively and this is giving a very huge room to the fraudsters or to the hackers to to gain to gain ground next slide please this rapid transformation presents both a new and a unique opportunity for threat actors to take advantage yes it actually produced this and they will take the advantage it is either they use this and use that so you need a serious security over your internet life 
over your devices or on how you use it remember last time when we present something like uh, what are they calling it the 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 wi-fi and the rest of them on how you can use wi-fi whether you leave your wi-fi on or off maybe something like bluetooth and all rest of them they are working consistently to see that they have edge over the business they are doing so nobody wants to lose so if you are one of those that want to lose your account or whatever that belongs to you it is left for you to lose it next slide that is why you have the definite defending it against hacking attempts all those things you will see it as very very simple but when we start going deep into this presentation you will see that we are not joking here on how you can lock all those things and even if i lock it and give you access to it you cannot access it because there are other things that you need to do before you can gain access to it and this is where the cyber world is needed to be protected and this is the reason why you needed this kind of presentation are you getting it and you have taken a very huge step by being here today and by sharing it to your, to your loved ones so that it will not take them on our next slide oh very good uh, please subscribe for further updates thank you for coming for the day thank you we'll go for break now and then after the break we go into the next next chapter of today's uh, presentation but now i'm giving you a kind of time to in make an inventory to check everything wherever you have entered facebook ask yourself all those questions that we actually say that you ask yourself where are the questions please go to the slide yes ask yourself all these questions that we have actually presented here for you to ask yourself ask yourself get all of them down because we are kicking off something else I'll see you in the next slide